guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm filming the assumption video for you guys i put on my instagram story a couple of times last week like um for you guys to answer what assumption you made about me so what you assumed about me when you first met me or just from social media a lot of them actually are just from social media there was quite a lot i've only picked a few because the video was going to go forever so yeah Anyway, it's really exciting to see what people thought of me um, and I hope I answered as many as I possibly could to get across to you guys the type of person that I am and how people misinterpret me maybe. Um, but yeah, so I really, really hope you like it and I can't wait to share it and I can't wait for you guys to watch it. So if you like it though, like, subscribe and you'll be able to keep up with all of my vlogs. My life be like, yeah. My life be like, yeah. My life be like, yeah. Okay. Question number one. I put one of the most interesting recent ones that I got as question number one. You're not on any contraception and you want to have another baby. Ah, no. No. I am on contraception. Thank you very much. I just recently got the bar put in my arm. I don't know where this person came up with this assumption from that I want to have another baby. But... I definitely don't anytime soon I did go through a stage for a little while where I was pretty much saying to Ben like look I don't know whether I want any more children like I'm not sure if like down the track like three four five years whatever if I'm going to not want to have any more babies with my surgery and everything coming up in less than a month I feel like my body is going to finally start looking how I want it to look. And then I know that by putting another baby into that in the future, it just changes everything. Um, so no, I don't want to have another baby anytime soon. And yes, I am on contraception. Um, I don't know where you got that assumption from, but we have spoken about it and we both have agreed that we would at least like to be engaged, married, settled 110% down before we do bring any children into this world um i am still coming to terms with whether maybe i do want more children or not i'm sure i will there are a lot of people around me right now having babies i'm gonna get a little bit clucky in about nine months um when they start having theirs or seven now whatever it is um when they start having this so i don't know but let me just put it this way for the time being i'm not having any more children anytime soon that is a no but that was a good one. I liked that question. Okay, so an assumption that I got quite a few times was that when people first met me, they thought I was just like a typical blonde dit. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. Like, I don't mind you thinking that because I know that I'll prove you wrong. Um, I don't feel like I'm just your typical blonde dit, to be honest. I feel like I can be quite smart um, with a few things. Um... You want your ex back. What the fuck? No, I do not want my ex back. Thank you so much to the person who wrote this, though. I don't know where the hell you got this assumption from, but I can confidently say, without being rude as well, like I don't want to be rude or offend anybody, me and my ex are such better off as friends. Like, so much better off as friends. Um, we definitely are better as friends. 110%. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. That we tried 100,000 times in our relationship to fix things. Um, it wasn't going to work. So, I don't know where you got this assumption from, but... You clearly haven't watched any of my other vlogs where I have said how happy I am with Ben and how I love being with Ben and how comfortable I am with Ben. Um, so yeah, that's my answer for that one. 
Some people assumed that I'm rich. No. 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 Sorry. Not rich. Um, my businesses make the money, which to like, we're not anything special either. Like it's special to me, of course, but I'm not like, I'm not rich. I don't just get my money and go, okay, great. I'm going to spend it on this, 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 because I have this much. No, I'm like down here. To be honest with you, I don't make that much money. Um, whatever you're thinking in your mind, I may halve it and probably halve it again. That's me. I need to save for things. Like I do need to save for things. If I was rich, I'd own my own house by now. God, I don't. Um, you act like you have a fairy tale relationship just for social media. I do have a bloody fairy tale relationship, thanks. <laughs> I personally feel like my relationship is the perfect fairy tale. My fairy tale. I'm bloody doing better than Cinderella over here. Like my relationship is so nice and I reckon I could write a fairy tale about it one day because I personally feel like it is such a fairy tale. Like I never thought this was going to happen to me. I genuinely never thought that I was going to be living in my own fairy tale where I'm so happy and so content all the time to have my babies and my children and Ben, like, it's just, I feel so loved and I do not just put it on for likes or follows or anything on social media at all. I genuinely feel like I have a fairy tale relationship and I don't just act like it. Like, I really don't just act like it. This is, what you guys see is how it is. I don't sugarcoat it and I don't lie about it. And I definitely don't pretend that it's something good when it's not. Like, what you see is what you get. And what you guys are seeing with me is exactly what it is. Um, you're materialistic. I don't think I'm materialistic. Um, I love a Louis bag as much as the next girl, though. But... I don't think that my whole life revolves around that stuff at all. I need to save just as hard as anyone else to go buy that Louis bag or go get that Gucci bag. Like I do, I need to save and it makes me feel proud. Like the first time Ben and I walked into Louis together, I picked my handbag, I got my handbag. It was like, I left that thing sitting in the box for weeks because I was too scared to open it. So I don't feel like I'm materialistic. I feel like I'm actually grateful for those things that I have. Like so grateful that I could save hard and I could actually buy them and be happy about it. Like I'm not materialistic. I definitely don't think I am. It's not all about brands to me at all. Or I'd be wearing branded clothing all the time. But I'm not. Um, I have a few really nice bags. Okay. And that's probably about it. And if that's being materialistic then. Sorry but that's me. Um, you wish you waited to have children. Not at all. Sorry. I love my children. I just quickly verifying Zaylee wanted the iPad. So I have a bit of paper that I had to write all the questions on. Um, I do not wish I waited to have children. I'm so happy that I had my baby, like Zaylee, my big baby, when I had her. Um... I remember this one time being at home, my nan and everyone were there, my pop was there, so it was quite a while ago. Like, it feels like a memory I probably shouldn't even remember because it was that long ago, but I remember just saying out loud in front of everyone, I'm gonna have a baby at 15. I was like nine or eight, but I always wanted to be a young mum and I loved it. Like, I loved the idea of it. Like, my mum had me quite young um, and my brother quite young. So yeah, I guess I just was like, you know what? I want to have babies young to the point where when I found out about Zay, even though Andrew and I weren't together at the time, I just knew that I had it in me to do it by myself. Um, that I could like birth this baby and I can have this baby and she'll be like mine. And it'll be lovely and it'll be nice because it's something I always wanted. And I'm not saying bring a child into the world without like two parents just for the sake of it because that's something you really want but if you want it and you can imagine your life with that baby forever bloody go for it because it's the best thing i ever did so no i do not wish i waited to have children 
Um, you're insecure. Hmm. Am I? I don't know what has made maybe someone feel like this. I don't know if you've seen me out or if you have seen like something on social media. I don't know. But I don't personally feel like I'm insecure. I actually feel really confident. Like I don't feel insecure. I know I don't have to worry about Ben. Um, he knows he doesn't have to worry about me. We are in a very secure relationship and place in our lives i don't feel like there's any insecurity here whatsoever like if you feel insecure i feel like that is you knowing that maybe your partner isn't going to be 100 percent loyal or you've had that in the past i have like felt insecure in the past i know the difference in between being insecure and being secure I can definitely 110% say now I'm not insecure in anything in my life at all. Like, at all. I have cut people from my life that made me feel insecure. People, a lot of people were like, when they first met me, they just assumed that I hated them. And I'm like, not offended, but I'm sorry if I have ever come across this way to anybody at all. I am just like the next girl i get quite nervous when um i'm approached or i'm approaching people with a different group of people um i'll say hi and i'll be nice but i'm not that type of person to, that i feel will just go like jump in and be like hey this is me blah blah blah. hope you like me i will still stand back and i'll assess um like who might be my type and who isn't my type um I want to get along with everybody though. That's the thing. I don't know why I come across that I hate people. Maybe it is because I am a bit standoffish at first. Like I'm just doing what I do and I think I've always done that. But by any means, you can't just hate somebody when you look at them. Like you can't, you physically can't. That's not okay to do that. As a girl, you shouldn't just look at a girl and be like, no, nah, don't like her. She doesn't look nice. Or like, it's just, no one should assume that they're hated from the moment they're met because to me, that's really horrible to think that. Like, I hope people don't hate me just by looking at me. Like, that's really rude, I guess. Or that have made me feel uncomfortable or that have, like, pushed my boundaries. So, no, I don't feel like I'm insecure. Not since the beginning of this year at all. <laughs> um, okay, another one that I got <clears throat> was that people don't think I'm happy in my relationship. I feel like this goes back to the one where they think I'm faking my fairy tale romance. Um, I'm really happy. I don't know where you all have been, but I'm not just putting this on. I'm actually genuinely happy. So, um, another one that I got is that I prefer to party than have family life. What? Okay, um, no, I really don't. Like, I don't know where you've gotten this or why you think this or anything around that. I do not prefer to go and party over spend time with my family. There may be things on sometimes or Ben and I might have a night out. Maybe the girls are with their dad, so we decide to go do something for us. Every second weekend that happens. So if you see me on my stories, um, in Sydney having a good time um, with Ben my kids aren't in there you don't know that they're not there or maybe it's their father's weekend so I do understand why that is an assumption but no I don't prefer that there would be nothing more I prefer than having a nice night like in like the kids go to bed quite quite early anyway so I'm sorry if you see a Snapchat of me sitting on the lounge at nine o'clock at night or an uh, Instagram story watching television and my kids aren't there. They're probably in bed. <laughs> see, it's always just like, but yeah. Anyway, I do not prefer that. I find it offensive actually. And I told everyone I wasn't going to get offended, but I find that a little bit offensive that like people do judge and they do think they know you. Just because your kids aren't in every single post. 
Like, sorry guys. Okay, second last question um, was, you get over mum life sometimes. I honestly do not think I get over mum life. Sometimes I do feel like I need a break. And I do get breaks now though. That's like with Andrew and I not being together, every second weekend I'm getting a break. So I feel like I am becoming a better mum, less stressed. Um, but yeah, I definitely don't think I get over mum life sometimes. Um, and it's so strange again to see that people like look at that maybe and see when I post things that, oh, she's getting over mum life. She doesn't want to be a mum today. It's yeah. never like that. Every single mum gets so stressed, but I always just want to like squeeze my children. Like they're just so, oh, it's just my heart. I couldn't love them anymore if I tried. I go to bed every night wanting to wake up a better mum for my children. But yeah, like the other day, Zaylee was like, um, I did get over mum life maybe for one split second. And I just sort of like snapped really quickly just for one minute and was like, come on, like, We've been arguing for 45 minutes and I've given you everything you want. And she just looked at me and she was like, Mommy, please don't be angry. I just want you to be happy. And I just like cried. It made me so sad that there she's two and she can work out that concept, which is beautiful. But yeah, so I don't get over mum life. I freaking love it. I adore it. I have the best people to share it with. So yeah, that one's um you want to be this is the last one by the way <laughs> you want to be social media famous no i'm not here to post and boast or vlog like about anything to get everyone's attention or to um like get followers or whatever i feel quite content with where i am like I guess it's just my confidence. People are getting like this, from me being confident, they're going, oh, she wants this, she wants that, she wants to be like this person, she wants to be like that person. No, I do not want to be like anybody. I don't want to be social media famous. I couldn't give two shits about it. I'm loving vlogging though. It is something that I actually genuinely am loving doing. I'm sorry that I'm getting confident and that I'm posting maybe more since I met Ben. I don't know, but I just felt like, in previous relationships, I have had boyfriends that have literally said to me, why do you just post a selfie? Do you want attention? Who, who are you looking to get attention off? Why do you need to post that? It's from here to here. Like, I don't know whose attention you're going to get from your bloody face back then, but that was actually a true fact. <laughs> um, so... Ben's not like that. He's not like, whose attention you're trying to get? Like, why does it matter? Why do you need to post that? Like, if I'm feeling it in the moment and I'm like, yeah, that's a good photo, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. I'm not trying to be social media famous. I genuinely like vlogging too. Like, I actually really like it. I like being able to share some stuff with you guys because I feel like I sit at home on my days at home and I go crazy talking to children. So why not? put it in a video and talk to you guys and it's also a bit exciting to see what people think of you and what you can share with other people but yeah I just thought everyone would be interested in maybe seeing some stuff from my life but anyway that is why I don't want to be social media famous I couldn't care less um so that's all for today and this vlog I really hope you liked it and I hope you like my answers. Um, I really hope some people that did send me questions, I didn't answer them. Um, like, don't feel offended. I just wanted to pick out the ones that I could answer the best and maybe change people's minds about me. Because some of them really felt like um, a lot of you don't know me, which you don't know me. But the assumptions of people wanting to know my contraception business, people wanting to know that I want to get back with my ex, people wanting to, like, all these questions that I've just gone through, I felt like there were a lot of people maybe thinking it that needed to hear it. Maybe not the contraception one, that was one person that was a bit weird. But anyway, I answered them all and I answered them 110% raw, honest and truthfully. And I really hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel and like 
Um, leave feedback. If there's anything you guys want me to film, send it to me because I can't wait. I'm really enjoying doing this. I love it so much. But yeah, send me whatever you guys want. And I'm so happy to be here and be vlogging with you guys and sharing all of this. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.